Welcome back to another Noble Courses tutorial and in today's video we're going to be seeing how to publish a game, make it public so everybody on Noblox can play your games. Let's go ahead, let's get started. I've been working on this game and I'm ready to publish the game. So the first thing that you want to do, make sure to click on stop. If you're still playing the game, you cannot save it and you cannot even publish it. So always click stop first. Once you click stop, go to file and then click publish to Roblox. Make sure to give the game a name. In this case, I'm going to call it laser tag practice. And then I always add these square brackets. So when you add those square brackets, more people will play your game. And in fact, I'm going to write new update version two in the square brackets. And we can also add an exclamation mark. The description will be all up to you. I'll skip this part for today and then click create. Give it some time as soon as you click create. So at the top, you know that the game is published or saved because you have the name of the game. Laser Tech Practice, new update version two. Now all that's left to do, go back to file and we'll be using the game settings for now. Once you're on the game settings, they added this new content maturity label. Now, if you don't fill it up, not everybody can play the game. So fill out questionnaire, just press it. It will open up a new tab. And all that you have to do over here is fill out this questionnaire. It won't take too long, perhaps two minutes. Now, since my game doesn't violate any of Roblox rules, I'll just click no and keep on clicking no. I'll fast forward this part but make sure to stick to the end. There we go. So I filled it all out, the questionnaire is done, and then I'll just click Submit. Success. Let's go back to Roblox Studio. The, quest the content maturity label is pending. Roblox will just verify that all the information you filled out is true. And then the last step that you're going to do over here Go to permissions, make it public, and you can click save. Now make sure to like and subscribe, because in the next video I'll be showing you how to add pictures, and I'll show you also different prompts you can tell AI to generate the best thumbnails on Roblox Studio. Thank you for viewing, see you all in the next one.